The 52 week course is here. The best property education course ever created in the entire UK. It has been brought to you by me, an active property developer. 52 weeks of learning. Every single week you will receive a video on a topic about your property journey from A to Z. Once a month, you get to meet up with me and come around my sites. And then on top of that, you get a monthly Zoom directly with me and the group to ask any questions that you guys need answers to. 52 weeks of the best property education in the UK today. I've just got another seven bedroom HMO in Birmingham. It wasn't me, it was Ayush. One of the best meetings I've ever had in my entire life that could potentially change mine and Isabella's life. Danny gang. Extras, 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 extras. So we said we was going to go bigger, go big or go home. And I told you that the amount of um, properties I'm buying, I need more joint venture partners. So we have this made today. Just an outline of everything that's going on. Um, these are really cool and also Great news, like great news. The property that me and Dan went to this morning, we've just had the phone call to say that my offer's been accepted. It's for Hamilton University. Um, memorandum of sale is coming over today before six o'clock. Um, we've sent everything off. I've been, I haven't instructed my sister yet, but I will be instructing my sister as soon as the memorandum of sale comes. The solicitor will get it anyway. Um, but yeah, what a day. What a day. And do you know what? It's quarter past five and everybody is still here because nobody wants to go home. I don't want to go home. A good mood. Couple of things that are happening. So, let me put my... Um, this wall here, guys. This wall tomorrow is being changed. This is going to be, is it the wooden panelling? Wooden panelling. The wall over there, the wall over there is going to be painted a new colour tomorrow. The office is going to be set out in a new layout completely tomorrow. We have had an issue today. One of the panels has dropped off because it's so hot in these offices that the glue has basically just given up. So they're coming in tomorrow. They're repaneling that again. They're sticking that back on for us. So that'll be fixed tomorrow. That panel in there is going to be painted black. Nothing else is happening in here. The boys are having their office. I might just paint that whole office tomorrow as well and put your new TVs on the walls for you. And then in here, we have my new diary, which I'm really excited about. And then do a 360, please. All of this will be completely different by six o'clock tomorrow. So 24 hours from now, the whole office is all painted and different. Tonight's a late night. Got a really late night tonight, so looks like it might be a takeaway. What takeaway? Dan? Dan's the takeaway guy. Well, he's at, uh, he's at... Oh, should we go for an Indian tonight? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I eat, apart from if we can get someone to bring me chicken and mash. Um, Cuds! First time on the camera properly. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Yeah. What for me or for everyone? No, what are we ordering? Oh, um, we got me pizza. Okay. Duna, you got the phone to say? Um, Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a mixture of all three. <laughs> uh, it's been a great day. It's been really good. I am about to film with this guy right now and then go to eat some food. So yeah, guys, bear with us. There's a lot going on. Now it's only oh, this. Oh yeah, that feels, yeah, yeah. So we're testing the whiteboard out. Yeah. Moment of truth. What are you wiping it with though? No, you can't do that. You gotta get something to wipe it with properly. So smudge? Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, there we go. I knew it was, it, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. and I, I trusted it from, from day one, didn't, didn't have any, any fear in that. 
I didn't put the days on it, like the dates, because I knew I'd get one wrong and the whole thing would have just been a mess. So I've just put, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Well, it's really weird because when I looked at it, I actually said, well, which one's the first yeah. and which one's the... That's what we have to figure out. Well, it's obviously going to go across like that. 7, 14, 21, 28, and then we get an extra three days for notes. So the 1st of February lands on a... Thursday, that would be here. <laughs> that's to be the most awkward, <laughs> <laughs> the most awkward one in the entire diary. Ah, there we ah. go. Just making sure we all know that. And it's our event on Vespera as well. It is, yeah. Which I'm absolutely delighted about. Can't wait for that big celebrations at a networking event. If you haven't got your tickets already, get them. What? I'm being serious. Mac is afterwards. Mac Just for yeah, your birthday. I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. I'll do that. Okay, so we're going to have to do something at the event for his birthday. Oh. We're going to have to do something. We'll have to get you some dancers and some singers. Guys, everyone sign this off, please. What, of our photos? Yeah, yeah. So sign your photos off. Make sure you're all happy with everything. Does it look good? It does look good, doesn't it? It's like a, it's an investment um, package that's going out. Um, and then obviously everyone's there. So is everyone happy with that? You happy with that picture? Yeah, I'm happy. What am I creating? Yeah. And the titles? Yeah, cool. Sweet. What's <laughs> <laughs> <Plus, plus> it be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasn't me? It was Ayush? <laughs> was that Ayush? Ayush was like, we've, he showed me the pictures. He showed me the pictures and he was like, it's mini snake. He's even posing like that. I did get him to do that pose, to be fair. Set him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Ayush was the guy who, who put the nail in the coffin, wasn't he? Yeah. What with the name? With the name? Dan? I, I, I didn't do that. Seriously, if I did, I'd tell you. And I'm not backpedaling it because he's that double whammy from the media team. Um, right, time to to film. To film, and then we all need to figure out what we're having to eat. entire life that could potentially change mine and Isabella's life and everybody around us potentially we'll know more midday Monday at 12 o'clock because that's when the second meeting is it's not a bad life is it is it and you went to a development this morning I did now you're pointing back to Steve Dan went to where do it again where did you go development again. I went where that was really cool the way you did it do it again. You went to a development this morning. I did, yeah. Did you see his little... <laughs> <laughs> went to a development this morning. Yeah, go on, give us an update then. Yeah, so the bathroom tiling is now complete. Um, just needs grating. They are doing the flooring tiling today in the bathroom. The tiling in the kitchen, the starting today, will be complete by tomorrow. Second fix will be totally finished by tomorrow. The electrician's there as we speak. Kitchen is being picked up either Friday or Saturday. Um, worst case to start it on Monday. I think we'll start it before. All the architrave and skating boards on upstairs, just downstairs needs to be done. And they've got the decorators going in Monday or Tuesday to start doing the full decorations. So. They're going to be finished by Friday. We spoke about yeah. it earlier. I can, I can see us going to, to snag it. To snag it on next Friday. You think so? They're just like, you know what, guys? You know, I ain't gonna go into it. It is what it is. Let's go. It's been a good day. My team are here. We're supposed to be going up north. Change of plan because the meeting overran by one hour. And I've got like an hour and a half free. What should I do? I wouldn't recommend going to um, up north. Def definitely not enough.
they are self-leveling the floor as we speak and they're doing right to the front door so we're not yeah, going to be able to get in there. Come on, let's go. No, so they couldn't get the wooden panels today. Oh, right. um, and the wooden panels that they could get were like three times the price of the ones that if we waited a week. Yeah. So it's two and a half grand for the panels for that one wall yeah. today or 700 quid next oh, week. So Renovations? Renovations, office is being done. So, we're in a bit of a mess, as you can see. But come outside into my media room, and I'm going to give you a tour. Guys, so that wall there, yeah. that, um, do you know that sign that was on there? Yeah. That's not going back up on that one. Okay, cool. That one there Good. is being moved to there. Oh, okay, cool. So you need to fill, sorry. No worries, it's all right. Yeah, you need to fill them holes, and then put there one. So the the no, it's not. That one's going there, the university's going there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you guys. Okay. We're on, we're live. So, I just had one of the best meetings I have ever had in the whole journey of my property career. And I said 2024 was hard work and we had to get stuck in. Well,. I have a follow-up meeting this Monday at midday that could literally change the whole course of our lives and career. Um, and I've always had a vision about Birmingham City Centre. Uh, sorry, I say Birmingham City Centre. Birmingham City in general, Birmingham. I've always knew that the office has been on, on Colmore Row and actually what we have here as a base will always lead to something bigger. I knew. And I, I, I stuck to it, even though everyone told me I was crazy, I stuck to it. And potentially, it's there. It, it, it's literally right there. Like, literally, like that. And I'm, I'm trying, and I seem to have the people around me now that believe, understand, and we can make this happen. So, what a meeting. Like, what a meeting. I'm so excited. My Isabella, just, she's super excited. Um, this could be the start, baby. I think, I think everything's a nice, like, black and white studio. I think it looks sick. I want to paint those desks black now. Not all of it, just the grey bit. You can do what you want. You're the creative director. What do you think? I think it looks nice. I follow my creative director. What do you think? I think it's really good. You think it looks better than the brown? <clears throat> yeah. Definitely looks better than the brown. You're not just saying it. No. You'll see it in the videos. You'll see how nice it looks. Well, what did you buy? Some uh, some stuff for the office because I'm walking around in um, trainers all day and night. <coughs> Do you have any scissors, please, guys? Um, so when I'm in the office, I always have my um, I always have like you know leather trainers on, mm. and and they can become a bit like I mean look how many pairs of trainers are just lying around the office. There's another one there. There's two there. They're everywhere. But um. I went to Dubai um, and I, ha I had a few pair of these actually and what actually happened was I, um, I got in the pool and there was two people in the pool, there was me and this girl and Isabella and this other girl was sunbathing, it was, um, it was like the, an adult's pool so there was nobody there and I kicked my sliders off yeah, well, and then I got out the pool and I put my sliders back on. Walked over to where Isabella was, some baby, and lied down, had some food and something to drink and stuff, put my sliders on, went back upstairs. Went out for the night, come back the next day, put my sliders on. Walking down and I said, Is these feel really weird. They're like, they've shrunk in the sun. She said, don't be stupid. I said, I'm telling you, they've shrunk in the sun. Put a size six on from, some, from the other girl that was around the pool. Walking around a size six pair of these, that wasn't mine. So unfortunately, I had to throw them in the bin. As soon as I realised there wasn't one, I threw them in the bin. It scared me. 
don't like wearing other people's shit. Makes me feel a bit, ooh, that's weird. So, and then I had another pair. Remember the yellow ones I had? Yes, you did. I lost them. I, I don't know what happened. Like, don't even pull them faces. I don't know. So literally, I've just been over to get some to wear in the office. Some of the most comfortable slippers there are. Really love them. We've got those scissors. Do we have a knife? Or a Stanley blade? I can blade? get it off, though, if you give it to me. There's knives over there in the toolbox. Are you sure, mate? The whose toolbox? This guy's here. Just ask him. Yeah, ask, don't just take. Yeah. Let me get some, some space, because I need to explain things to you, what's going on. Because it's so crazy. Everything right now is nuts. Um, and this is Barlow. One second. Hey, mate. Yep. Yep, put him on. Um, tell him I'll call him in 10 minutes. All right, bye-bye, bye. -bye, bye. bye. We talked about him yesterday, didn't we? We did. Irreplaceable. Um, yeah, let me get everything set up because we're in a bit of a mess in here and then I'll talk to you because we're not being out on the road today, unfortunately. There is a lot of things that need to be done. Um, so, yeah. Quick meeting with the boys. We are putting together a presentation for Monday. Um, I have a really important meeting at midday on Monday and I am going to showcase what we have to offer and what we bring to the table because although they need me, I also need them. Um, and instead of it being like, Steve, please help us or, you know, can you please help us? I want everyone to understand it's a 50-50 relationship. We bring as much as you bring um, and it all has to work together. So I want to blow them out the water with the presentation that we put together. There's the, the guy who's going to make the presentation happen. This guy reckons he's good at presentations. And then I also have Harry doing all the CGI's that I want doing to put into, into it as well. Harry's waiting for a call from us now. So we're going to just plan it all out, put it into context and then um, and get it done. What do you think of the colour guys? We won't know until it's done. Mm, I'm, I'm into the colour. I'm, I'm, it's a lot of grey though. Because the whole office is grey. What are you thinking? You chose it, so what are you saying? I think we need the panels as well. That's yeah. going to bring out the... Yeah, across there. Yeah, panels can't come to the way. So, it's okay. I'll send the panels across. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, so guys, let me plan this out. And I'm going to run through the property that we bought yesterday for Hamilton University. Um, and then I put out the joint venture opportunity for the six, seven bedroom HMO. Well, I've just got another seven bedroom HMO in Birmingham um, that I'm looking for funding for. So I'll talk about it. it might not, yeah, the, the link is in the description below for the joint venture. If you want to do a six, seven bedroom HMO in Birmingham, let me know. But I might not get time to talk to you about it today, but I will tomorrow, unless Phil reminds me and we've got time today. What do you think, Phil? We have plenty of time. Oh, that's the, that's the spirit. But I really need to do this now, guys, so. Wake up and beg up this year, jump by the crib, stack up my Ceno this year, killing my ego this year, all for the people this year, only believe in the real, I do believe in no fear, and I got gang in this b I never switch on the tribe, I keep it all the way real. Need me? Don't need you, but I want you. Sounds very weird. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to like that. <laughs> hey, beautiful girl. Don't forget, we only get the games included for the first round, and obviously all the league games. Okay, all right, Sandy. It needs to be secured. What's happened, Rachel? What's happened? What's happened, Isabella? Why is she in a pal mood? Because she's not been out on the broomstick. Because the weather's too slow. Yeah, the weather, the temperature's too low to fly the broomsticks apparently. So she's she's grounded. She's grounded. Sorry. Yeah. So the, the box at West Bromwich Albion, obviously we own the box at West Brom, um, season by season, and because we've got through to the next round of the FA Cup, as we're going to win the FA Cup, um, we have to pay for the game. Um, so any additional games after the first round of any cups, we have to pay for each one. Now, if we'd have got Brentford, would I have gone to the game? Of course I would have. Um, so, yeah, have to pay. Um, it's expensive as well, you know, guys, to go to the game. It's not cheap. That's why we have to earn more money to keep working. Do you want me anymore? You can have your coffee. Do go you on. need me? No, no, go on. What is, it, what is it you want from me? No, we can do it afterwards. What do you want to do to me? 
Just break down a deal. He's sick, aren't he? So the offer accepted on £120,000 for a two bedroom terraced house that has a double room downstairs, it has a kitchen with an extended part at the back. I think the film might be playing it all over here for you. Um, two really decent sized rooms upstairs, room on the back to maybe go up again. So it's definitely going to be um, a four bedroom HMO. It might be able to go into a five bedroom HMO. There's no article four in the area so it can be done instantly, straight away. It's for the university. Um, and then I also bought the one in Derby. Has that been done as well? Have you put that on the screen and showed them that one? No, we haven't, no, no. Okay, so I've got the Derby one as well, which is the six slash seven bedroom. So it's either going to be a seven bedroom with all en suite, no, six bedroom with all en suites, or seven bedrooms with a communal areas. Um, I haven't made a decision which one of those it's going to be just yet. Um, but, but, I actually have my first um, affordable housing site of four two bedroom semi detached houses in Birmingham. Um, I have plans, guys. I have plans. I want to fill you in more and more and more. Tomorrow, I might be able to fill you in a little bit more on the presentation that we've been working on. Um, but I just need to make sure that everything is um, is going as it's supposed to go and everything's going to work out the way it works out. It's unreal. It's unreal. All the years, I say, keep saying it, all the years of hard work. Things are happening, doors are opening, people are paying attention. And I've also decided today, with Richard, as we went for a walk, um, I would like an MBA. You would like one, yeah. I actually really would like an MBA, so I have to work now for the next five to ten years in order to put myself in a position where I will be awarded an MBA. So, yeah, I've decided today I actually, gen this is genuine, it's not banter, I actually would like to get an MBA for um, my service to social and supported housing in Birmingham. And you heard it here first. On the 18th of January today? Yes, it is. 18th of January, 2024, I have said I would like to get an MBE for services to social housing, which includes supported and everything else. Um, so remember that date, make a note of it, write it down. I need to write it down, you lot don't really care. But yeah, I want an MBE. So do I get a crown with an MBE? Tony, if I get an MBE, do I get a crown? No. You get 90 though, don't you? Doesn't you get, don't you get a little thing though? A little medal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. little thing. What, do you get crown as well? I thought they did like the, the night thing, like... <laughs> <laughs> I night you, get your <laughs> lightsaber out. Um, guys, I'm off because I'm going home early to spend some time with my family and I'm having dinner. And guess who's coming around my house for dinner tonight? Family. Excited, Rich. It's the only time he smiled. Always. He's oh. cooking. 